guys happy sunday welcome back to my channel i am filming this video today which is a sunday night but more likely this video will be uploaded um, on either wednesday or thursday so happy sunday but by the time you're really watching this video it's gonna be another week all right guys so i'm back just to complete my completing my um series the paris series so i have two more days left in paris and today is all about chanel and then uh, i have one more day um, that i will do next week is back to Hermes. so today i have two things that i would like to share with you the first thing is with chanel and then there's a little story time about Hermes at trot sang its store in paris and that's experience is not mine but actually it's from my friend um i discussed with her and she agreed for me to share with you a little bit about her um you know her journey in paris this was her first time in paris um, at the Hermes store and um, she got lucky guys so i will go into the a little more details in a you know in a little bit later but let's start with the day so today just like any other day we got up early and we met up with the you know we meet up with our friends and we you know do some sizing in the morning and we decided to go to chanel because my friend she's a big chanel fan and she just recently got into Hermes, but you know she's pretty new to Hermes, so she was not that excited about Hermes it's all about chanel for her so we decided to check out the chanel mothership um, you know store in paris now when we get to the chanel store it's about almost 12 o'clock because you know we took our time to do the sizing along the way and then had breakfast at some cafe so by the time we get to the chanel shop it's a little bit later in the um, you know in the afternoon and the line was crazy long guys i'm talking about when we get to the front door it's already have three four people you know outside the door which we already hesitate but when we got inside the store even worse there were actually three separate lines so four or five people outside you know under the street and once you get inside the gate there's another line literally about 12 to i don't know maybe 15 people and we thought that was it but then the security people came out and greet us and just like always they asking us what can they do for us and we explained to them that we're here to you know of course to uh, see if we can get any um you know any bags and we want to check things out for the new season and the woman security she looked like either a security person or she's a manager she apologized to us and you know basically telling us that um, we can stay in line or you know to, to wait but she can tell us right now that this lines right here is not the end there will be another two lines inside <laughs> so basically you have to get through the front door you get inside you wait you know for i don't know according to her maybe another hour and a half before you get to the third line which is inside waiting for a cell so say you be done you know before they can serve you and then somehow there's another line at the end of the store so you're looking at three lines plus the one outside is four lines and according to her it's gonna be about two hours for each line so you're looking at about four to five hours in another words she want us to know that um probably it's better we come back the next day and according to her please come back before the opening hour so you can you know get in, in line and actually be served on that day so my friend and i look at each other and we you know we were sure for sure that we didn't want you wait that long we don't want to spend the whole day you know at the chanel just to wait in line and on top of that you know our husband is uh for sure doesn't have do not have the same patient that we do right 
So I told the lady that um, probably we'll come back the next day, but can we just check out the store? And she says, sure, of course, please, um, you know, go ahead. So we went inside and this store is beautiful, guys. It's um, according to uh, a quick, you know, look, there's two floors. So we went upstairs. I will put some video clips here for you guys to see with us. We did not do that much video clips inside any boutiques. And the reason is, it seemed to us that, you know, I don't know, it's feel very awkward. It's like, um, especially at the Hermes store, I, we feel like they are, you know, we, we were being watched. And um, also, we don't want them to think that we are there to, you know, do videos. And it might take away my chance to get the coda back. So we try to limit our video to, um, you know, as much as we, we try to do as much video clips that we can, but we don't want it to be too obvious. You know what I mean? So same thing with this Chanel boutique. When we get in there, literally security, you know, guys are every corner. Um, there are more security people in this Chanel boutique than even the Hermes, um, you know, mothership store. And they always like pay attention to, I don't know, maybe we feel self-conscious because um, every time we pull up a camera and we feel like they are looking at us. So I try to do some video clip, but not a lot, but I'm gonna put them right here for you guys to see. So anyway, they got very good you know, inventory, they have almost every um, new purse came out this season and I was back there in late July, I'm sorry, late June, beginning of July. So it's a you know, season 22A um, and they are beautiful. The pricing is so, so good guys, because my friends, um, she sent me, different friends back in the States, sent me some link um, on the UF website on some handbag that she liked, and she sent it to me and I checked out you know, at this store and I found exactly the same bags for her, which are a lot cheaper price, at least about 20%. Okay, but I'm not sure if every handbag are, you know, 18, 20% cheaper or just one of those particular bags that she sent to me. But I can tell you right now that you know how big fan of, you know, myself with the Coco handles. And um, so before I left the state, I did purchase the yellow Coco handle. Um, and I want to see if they have the same bag. And you know, I want I try to see the price so I can compare. But obviously, um, apparently on that day I could not get the same size in size small. They might have it in stock, but not on the showcase. I was able to see a mini cocoa handle um, in the yellow, same exact color that my uh, small cocoa handle. And the price, so you know, you guys know that the mini cocoa handle in the U.S. is about. $4,800, yes, and the price that I saw in the, you know, in the boutique in France, in Paris, was $4,250, 4,250 euros, and then don't forget they give you, you know, the VAT refund, another 10 to 12%, and then, you know, so you're saving already, what, almost 20% right there, plus you don't have to pay you know, minimum 6% tax in the US, right? So you're looking at about 20 to 25 saving right there. But then when you came back to the US, you know, we have to pay the custom duty tax, which run anywhere between 3% up to 10%. And there are few occasions that depend on the custom officer, they might not even, you know, charge you the duty tax. But again, it's very rare cases. But anyhow, even after the duty tax, you're still saving minimum 15%. Now that has changed um, from what I know. Last week, Paris or uh, France in you know Europe, Europe in you know all together has increased their pricing. Um, Chanel have increased the pricing in Europe by almost 10%. So even with that increase, you still save about 10 to 15%. 
with Chanel if you go now because the US dollar is really strong as we speak. Um, therefore, you will still save some money, not as much as I could have saved back in June, right? But I did, you know, I was a little regret. I did not purchase a lot of things uh, from Paris, you know, on this trip just because like I have um, mentioned to you guys that my collection with Chanel, my Chanel collection has got to, um, you know, the part that I feel I'm press piece. So I still buy Chanel, but I'm really selective. You know, at this moment, I only probably will go to, you know, Chanel for something that I really, really like. Um, but I still, you know, like their shoe and jewelry, you know, custom jewelry. So I still buy a little bit of those. For handbag department, I'm kind of slowing myself down right now. But anyway, I did purchase some with Chanel, but not at the mother ship Chanel this trip because, like I said, the line was crazy, and neither you know my friends or I or even our husbands, you know, would will it, willing to wait for that many hours to get to our turn, and the next day we didn't have time to come back because we had some other plan. Therefore, we did not get anything from the mother ship in Paris. However. Um, you know, the next day and also at the airport, I did purchase some Chanel and I will do the unboxing with you guys um, right now, okay? But anyway, um, so put Chanel aside. After Chanel, we went to the Hermes store because the night before my friend received a congratulation letter that she got appointment, the letter appointment which make me very jealous because she came to Paris almost three, four days after us and she has been only trying three times and she got the letter appointment. Whereas my husband and I, we almost at all eight days, nine days and we still didn't get any letter appointment. But anyhow, I was happy for her and we decided to go to the appointment together, she and I, so I can kind of help her a little bit in uh, you know Hermes as she is pretty new to that you know that brand and they so the store that they put her with for that appointment on that uh, late afternoon is with short sank you know store and when we get there they ask for the letter appointment she show her uh, you know appointment on her phone and um, they invite her in and then uh, you know, the security lady told us that uh, you can just go upstairs to the letter department and someone will look for you, you know, someone will help you. So we went upstairs, we sat at the couch by the shoe department and waiting. And about 10 minutes later, um, you know, there's a really nice lady came out. She pretty young and she greeted us and, you know, asked where is it that my friends was looking for. So my friend told her that she is looking for a Kelly, a smaller bag, um, you know, and her wish is the Kelly 25, the smallest Kelly. So the sales so say asking her, you mean the Kelly 20, the mini Kelly? Are you talking about the classic Kelly 25? And my friend was like looking at me. So I told her that maybe the, you know, the Kelly 25 because it's more classic than my friend does not have a big collection of Hermes. In fact, she doesn't have any Hermes bag yet. Um, I mean, she has the uh, the other tall bag from Hermes, the, what's it called, the Garden, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. But anyway, um, you know, she got a bag for a garden party. Yes, there you go, garden party, a small side garden party for her office, you know, work and that about it so this will be awesome if she can get something like you know in the classics uh, style like kelly 25 because she loves have her um, back you know carry on her shoulder so this sales so say she very nice but she's also very professional you know like polite in a professional way and she excuse herself and saying that okay i will look to see what we have in stock and I will be back. So she gone for about 10, 12 minutes and she came back with, you would not believe this. 
I will I asked my friend to you know do the video on her back but she's not in town right now so I could not get her back but I will show it to you once she come back she got her Kelly 25 in gold color in Togo leather you know how hard that is right and she was able to get it without any purchase can you believe that guys nothing nada the only thing is she could not get a gold hardware they only have the platinum hardware but in gold color togo leather inside 25 is almost impossible to get these days so and my friends you know being herself she demanded you have a yellow you know the uh go the, the gold hardware because she doesn't like anything silver and the sales say told her that no i'm sorry madam that's all we have um nothing we nothing nothing else that she has in stock right now either my friend take it or leave it and then my friend looked at me and i told her you know go ahead and take it and maybe one day you find a go on go which means go hardware in the gold letter that you like then you can maybe sell this one and you know trade it for the other one but right now even with the gold and platinum it's so hard to get and she always like um you know gold handbags right but she also wanted to have a gold hardware but after i talked to her and she you know agreed with me that it's so hard to get her hand on any kelly period let alone in gold color so she's listened to me and she you know purchased that back it's a beautiful bag guys in fact um i'm thinking you get it from her but right now after came back to the u.s she decided she wanted to hold on on that bag at first she wanted to um you know sell it and then go on the reseller market to buy a go on go hardware because the price is pretty similar you know on the reseller route she might have to pay maybe extra thousand dollar you know to, to get the go hardware she like but then at the end of the day she decided she just want to hold on to this and she have not let me know if she wants to sell this one or you know keep it but she's not in the u.s right now she's traveling again with her husband but anyway so i'm just want to share with you her story because it's very optimistic and uh, like i say it's possible when you travel to paris without any purchase history and you can get the handbag you know if you are lucky enough to get the letter appointment so far my husband and i didn't get the letter appointment however we did get a kelly 25 in box black letter which is like a unicorn for me and however with that i did have the pre-spending and i do believe that if you willing to spend some money um i don't know it doesn't have to be a lot in paris it's not, definitely it's not one to one but you know spend on something and uh if you click with that sale so say and if you ask for help you know in the letter appointment the sale so say you know is able to help you if they want to most of the time they will say no right but uh, i was lucky enough that uh, my Hermes fairy that day willing to help me with very little purchase um, of this beautiful lucky ring <laughs> and yes it's a gold ring but it's not that expensive but anyhow it's nowhere near half or even nowhere near one to one or even half uh, of the price of the uh, box kelly that he you know he offered me so i'm really grateful and happy but for my friend even you know better she didn't even purchase anything it's just her luck that she got letter appointment on her first try and she got there and uh, the sales so say was so nice i offer her the the gold um, you know kelly 25 which is very rare this day as well um anyway so that is the very very um you know happy ending for my friend even though at first she was not that happy because she still won the go hardware and uh but now i think she's pretty happy because you know she came home she did her own research and she knows that it's not that easy to get 
a Kelly 25 in any color, let alone gold color, right? But anyhow, that is our story with Hermes. Now let's do a quick um, unboxing of the Chanel items that I was able to get this trip. All right, guys, are you ready? So let me begin. The very first item which I have already opened and wear is a pair of earrings. And you know what? My in my next video after my last day in Paris trip video, I will share with you all the Hermes. Um, you know how to get the Hermes offer in Paris with all the tips and mistakes and you know experiences that I have been through and I felt like I kind of have enough experiences to share with you guys with hope that you know if one of you travel to Paris anytime soon you might be able to score a code back and came back and share with me I love to hear happy ending story and I love to see people dress up nice carry nice handbags um, that's why I love people watching when I was in Paris I just like to sit um, at the cafe shop and watching people because they are so beautiful people they carry nice handbags they were wearing you know beautiful boots and uh, shoes and you know all kind of things so definitely I love to watch beautiful people with their beautiful things all right guys so this is a pair of earrings so this earring is actually from last season 22p and I miss the, you know, I miss them back there in the U.S. And lucky me, I found them in Paris. So I got them. It's beautiful, beautiful Chanel earrings. You see them? So one day I will do another video to um, kind of put on all the jewelry that I recently got and do my shot video with you guys after all this Paris uh, series that I'm doing and that is my next content I will try to do all the jewelry massage and shoe massage for you guys to share with me let's see what is the second item so this one I haven't opened yet since the day I bought it so I don't remember which one is this one we will see together all right Oh, this one is, so this one from this season, actually it's come out almost every season, but I, I actually already have this one. I got this one for my aunt as a gift. I'm not sure if she will like it. It's a little bit bigger for her ears. My aunt, she likes things that small. But anyway, it's beautiful earring. It's one of my favorite earrings. And they sold out in the state. So when I saw it at the airport, the Chanel airport in Paris, I had to get it. Here's another item that I already unboxed. So it looks like I have worn them already. But let's see what they are. Sorry guys, sometimes I purchase uh, things and I don't really wear them right away um, and I kind of forget what they are but when I see them I know exactly Oh, this one is the Lock Chanel Studs This is another favorite pair that I like So no stones, just pure yellow, um, you know, gold but it's beautiful and, and this one is smaller size all right and let's see what's the next one that we have so i tried to do a quick video because lately it seemed like my video is getting longer and just because i like to share with you guys every details like story times and things like that so it's getting long okay so this is another items I guess another earrings. I love Chanel earrings. 
and this one is brand new oh this is the smaller it's like a pearl shape i'm sorry the um, cc stud but in pearl it's pearly cc let me see what's the name on this one it's called gold pearly white and crystal earring and this one is a very small tiny size as you can see how small it is so maybe this is the something that my aunt would like because she likes smaller studs it's beautiful guys so for you know for smaller studs you can wear every day you can wear to the office you can wear on a weekend it's not really um showing off and that's what's why my aunt like it let's see what oh, where is it in here okay i will take care of the put them back later but right now i just want to show you what we got first okay so this one has a bigger box and but also a oh this is very oh, this is my favorite one i got this one in paris and i love love this one you see how beautiful it is so this is the new style just came out this season i didn't have anything look like this and the name on this earring is uh -oh. the name on this earring is go pearly white crystal black so i guess this is a, the black part it's like onyx and there's pearls and there's crystal so there's three different gemstones on this earring right here it looks so pretty so so pretty guys i love it love loving it so this is something that i didn't have okay and then oh what is it in here oh i know what this you know what i'm gonna do the should i do this now okay just for you guys this is really special item i should save it and do the unboxing just by itself anyway since we are here since we are already here let's go for it but just so you know it's very special item You guys ready? Ah, this one I look for this everywhere back in the state. I could not find it. But I found it sold out everywhere. She guaranteed me that this is the only one left. And this one from the last, the previous season, 22P. Another hot bag in size small. You remember guys in my um back in uh, April, May, I was able to score three hard bags, the large size and the clutch size, which is this size, and then the belt bags are in black. And I always, you know, was looking for another one in either gold color, purple, or pink. But I could not find them because they, they were really hot. They were sold out everywhere and I was not willing Oh, I am still not willing to go to the resale market to get my colors heart back and I was able to get them. So you can tell that I'm really really happy and like I say I don't collect any more Chanel back until I find something that's truly collectible and to me heart bags are truly collectible because Chanel does not do heart bags every year or every season they will do once and they will skip for years before they came back so i think hot bag is worth to collect i wish i get another one in yellow you know not yellow but gold color because i do have a matching shoe in that gold color and i don't have any bag in gold color but anyways i love love this guy i will go into the details of my shot and everything on this heart you know pink bag um on another video but right now we're just unboxing another one guys and this one i can give you a hint it's a pair of shoes special shoe 
Anyway, any, everything to me is special. Just so you know, for, for almost 10, 12 years that I did not shop. So this year you see that I shop a lot. Um, but you have to understand that I was really well behaved for that many years. So everything for me this year that I purchased are special, special to me. And I really don't know at some point I will stop shopping again, um, you know. But right now, I am still collecting, especially Hermes. So this one to me is very special pair of sandals. But I'm not gonna wear it until next year. You know why? Because I have to wait until I found a matching handbag in gold color. I think it's very, very pretty. It looks super nice on my feet and very comfortable as far as I feel in the boutique. And this one also from the previous season, but they were so out. So I absolutely, absolutely adore and love them. Huh, let me see, why is it one like that? But anyway, like I said, I will do a mud shot videos on all the new shoe and jewelry that I recently got. I did the jewelry mud shot video with you guys back in, um, I think, early April. And since then, I haven't done any mud shot on the jewelry, uh, on the shoe. Every handbag unboxing, I have mud shot, right? But not shoe and earrings. So I promise I will do two video one is all about jewelry and then one is all about shoe uh, with massage and clips and everything like that all right guys so that is all for tonight and that is wrap up all um night days in paris um today i spent time with our friends but like i said she agreed for her me to talk about her experience with Hermes at the church sank and after church sang, we just went on our way to more sightseeing, uh, lunch, you know, bakeries, and um, what else did we do? Oh, we went to a really nice restaurant that night, but, uh, you know, with them, so I'm not gonna revealing the restaurant um, experience on this, on this day, but I will see you on my next video, which is the 10 days, and that day is involved Hermes, so I can, um, give you a little hint we do or we did get an appointment when an, we did get the letter appointment on our 10 days which is tomorrow guys and i will share with you my experience at the letter appointment all right guys see you in my next video and i hope you having a great time on your weekend and i see you next week and have a great week coming up all right, guys. Bye for now. Love you all.